I'll start a recording on this one just James, in case. James, if you're speaking, no one can hear you. I, I can hear you, James. Oh, you can hear me? Yeah. Moin, can you not uh, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Gio can hear me. Moin? Oh, he might have had to leave and come back. All right, guys. Uh, it's a little impromptu live. Um, probably not going to do anything crazy. I just want to kind of show you guys, I guess, uh, something that I've been messing around with, and it's it's kind of been working. Um, usually, like, honestly, usually I'll do the same thing that you do, Geo, uh, with just, like, scalping the regular mini contracts. Um depending on the trend like if we're in a strong uptrend i'll do that if we're like pulling back and i'm trying to play the pullback strategy i'll use the micros which is nice for the um it's nice on the apex accounts you know you can't do that on the top step which kind of sucks i mean you can do micros yeah, give you like a little set yeah contract. i wish they'd give you more that would be i mean top step would be like I mean, no pun intended, but top tier if if it had that. Yeah, everybody for that. <laughs> um, so just to give you an idea of like what I did here, so I'll get rid of this line, a couple of these lines. Well, I'll leave I'll leave some of these. Now I'll, I'll walk you guys through my exact mindset. So uh, we were in the middle of this kind of like downtrend here. Um, if you can, if you see patterns right away, you might have been able to see that we were just kind of consolidating into this zone here. If I if I put down some trend lines. Uh, that's literally like right where I got in. Yeah, it was like essentially like we had this trend here, and then if you go from like this low, I think it's like this low right here that makes this trend. We kind of broke like a false breakdown um, out of it. Buyers bought that back up. Now I was in a little bit of drawdown, probably from like I think I started my position in like the mid thirty right here at this like bottom spot. Um, just based on you know the heavy volume push down and i saw that this next volume bar right here was was uh equally equally as like good for the buyers though so i, I saw that the buyers were trying to buy up the dip they got the pop up um i wasn't too sure if we were going to get the 20 ema break here just because we we had just went under the 200 so i was giving it a second but basically you add in like if i use my fibonacci's which i i really love to use my fibonacci tool I went from you know basically the low, not exactly, but just to get a rough idea of how far we had pulled back um, after that move in the morning. And I saw that we were pulling back just under the golden zone. I was like, <sighs> price action was choppy, but again, we were holding some of our indicators, the 200 specifically. So if I delete that, like I said, enter around the mid 60s. Um, when we had this dip down, I didn't buy this dip just because again, I only had like three MNQ um sorry maybe six m and q at that point um so my drawdown was very minimal i think it was maybe like 200 bucks or something um mm -hmm. so i was giving it a little bit of breathing room once i saw this candle this green candle really engulf this one with some supporting volume you know you look to see what the next candle does if that second candle breaks that high there's a good chance that the buyers are hopping back into control just because you know they don't buy that dip up for nothing especially on com comparable volume um yeah. w when it pushed up right here as you might have known we had that trend line so i was waiting for that trend line to break now how i spot like levels that i want to add into on is essentially i want to look kind of like i do with stocks where you just look for a break point or a touch point that's been like hit multiple times i think at that point it was 80 it was about 80 or 82 basically the high wick right here i want to see this high wick because of this consolidation right here, I wanted to see this high wick break. Um, you can see this was a, a low wick here as well. Um, so once we broke that right there, I added on, I think I think I added five right there because my big ad spot was gonna be on this high wick uh, at about 93. So as soon as like 90s broke, cause I knew with 90, there's all this like liquidity. Wow, we are ripping. Um, there's all this liquidity right here. So I was waiting to see how hard we pushed into it because sometimes they don't just, like you can see we wicked out on this candle right here with this one, but sometimes that doesn't happen, it just rips through. So you wanna be a part of that momentum. So I kinda added in right there was my 15 MNQ ad spot. And the reason I added the 15 there and like just you know went kind of, I wouldn't say all in, but I already had about 12 to 15 um, from averaging down here, averaging in. So you, you get that buy right there, 
my target was a seven hundred dollar level, um, seventeen seven hundred. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't really. I mean, if we broke this trend, there's a good chance we would keep going up like this. But I just want to get that quick scalp, you know, make my money and get out. So I essentially, as soon as that that ninety two ninety three spot broke, I added that fifteen. Literally had my sell set for ninety seven fifty. I think it was, um, just like a really weird level. Yeah, I think right where you added that. 15 is right where I got in at that 50. It was like 56, 56, 25 mark. Probably like right, it was like right on that. 56. It was like right on that red candle of the, let's see, the green candle that wicked below the VWAP. Uh, uh, so I don't have three my over. one. Shit. Oh, let's see. You're yellow then. You're yeah, yellow my yellow is 60. All right. Oh, so okay. then, yeah, 60, 60, right? So right here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. right on that retap. That's a good add in. Yeah, that's a good add in, especially the way that that 20 looped. Like, I know this is on the one minute, but that, that loop right there, like that push up, you know, shouldn't go unnoticed in terms of momentum. That was like, that was a hard kind of re, almost like a, a complete U turn <laughs> off to 200. Um, yeah. And you can see like how sharply we're pushing that 60 right now. It's probably going to continue. Yeah, once we got that big engulfing candle. That was pretty much yeah, but um, it also helps. You got yes sh- breaking out right now. Yes, I see. I see. I'll tell you what, guys. If you don't use the uh, the three minute time frame, and you're that's like, what I love to use, dude. dude. I love to use that. I love that time frame. It just it's, it's it's like so much better than like the one minute and the five minute. Like you get what's in between, and it helps you out so much. Yep, three minute. The All three right, minute. bet. The one minute, there's like just so many fake outs. The five minute is like, it's just too long almost to wait. So the three minutes, like it's that funny. nice little middle the, spot. Yeah, I've been using the, two. <laughs> the two minute. Uh, yeah. I don't think I've even tried the two. The two minute actually wouldn't be too bad either. I, I feel like you'd still get a couple more fake outs on that. but. Yeah, no, that, that has been an issue. But the one minute. So when I tried to go over to the five, and yeah, it has been weird because it's too long. Yeah. So interesting the chart difference here from the QQQ and the, or sorry the NQ and the ES. This is like a, a nice solid like inverse head and shoulder. Wouldn't be surprised if we pull this back here, uh, back down to that line. Honestly, I'd arguably be okay with even a pullback to the sixty. Over time, not not yeah. like we don't want a sharp pull down. Sharp pull down. I kind of like you know based on the price action itself how violent the move down is it tells me if it's a healthy pullback or not if it's if it's a violent move down but it gets bought up really well that's a good sign to me that buyers are still there if we get a big push down like if this would push down to the 20 and then we get a second candle that also pushes down through the 20 we could see a slight structure change nothing crazy but at least a little bit more of a dip but this thing is just looking strong it's probably going to just ride this for a little bit yeah, I see that. Three minute time frame. Ended green on this. I like the the buyers are rejecting. If you do like the strat strategy right here, you'd be looking at a, a what is it a two a two two. I guess it'd be a two two two. It's just a continuation. The strat strategy is like, it's nice. It's kind of like a cheat code. I like it more for like um, longer term because you can go on these three to five minute candles and kind of see how they're closing and just follow the general price action path. But the strat's also really hard to learn. I was going to say, I haven't really used strat often. I've tried it and uh, yeah, I've only been successful a couple times at it. I haven't really yeah into it. I'm not too good at it myself. It's like, it's an interesting strategy. I'll tell you that. So I got this right here. So if I'm looking at this, I want to see from this bottom wick, one minute wise, does a perfect 38% retrace. This could get the push back to the high here. We need to engulf these uh, this liquidity right here though. But I like the 38% retrace off that recent low wick to the high. This is on the one minute, so you got to take these retracements with a grain of salt. But I do like this push if it can get the 30. If we can get 30, are we at all time highs right now? No, nah, not yet. No. Nah. So we've got a lot of liquidity, like up to about 
I'd say the top of the body of that candle right there, 758. Could see a little rejection there. Obviously, the angle would be the top top here, but that 58 spot, mid 50s, could could pose a little bit of rejection. This is a massive engulfer on the 30 minute. That's about to close in two minutes. That's a super yeah. bullish candle. Yeah. This could uh, we could get a nice ripper for the next like 15 minutes. We don't so. have any more news for the week, do we? I don't think so. I think tomorrow there might be something, but I don't think it's that, like, market moving. Three minute here. Volume is still a little light, but hopefully we can make it up if we push through this liquidity. There we go. Let's get the push over 31. If we can get 31. See 31, maybe get a push up through the 30s quick. If not, maybe a little bit of consolidation here for a, a slight flag pattern. Get the push. Volatility, you'll see it. We are up there on the RSI. I would not be surprised if we just kind of teeter totter here. What's the three minute look like? Oh, they're getting a push there. This candle is just it's it's a strong price action candle but the the volume is is lacking but we're we're going into a fair value gap though so there's a lot of just loose liquidity you don't really need a ton of volume to push through that to be honest anyone get any one day passes yeah just that last one <laughs> what's that sir just the last one I did yesterday. Gotcha. This might pull back here, back down to these lows. <laughs> Not yet. I'm still trying to fast, so we'll see. I did definitely. I looked into that uh, video that um, the Daily Grinder put in with the uh, – oh, here we go. Volume coming right back in. I like that ramp. Yep. I think we get a push here to the 40s. NQ needs to break above that 735. 735, I see you. We get a clean break above that. I can, I believe we'll get some more uh, buying buyers in here and push this up. Let's see if we can get that push. I'm put it on the five minutes so we can see a little more. Get rid of some. Uh, well, those are some good levels. We'll keep those there. Yeah, I like the chances of us getting at least the push up into this this range right here. Again, possible those those like sixty levels. I don't know if you noticed on NQ, but the sixty is like tend to be um, good resistance and support spots. Oh, I love it. The, the 60s, yeah. um, the 20s, sometimes the high 80s. Been noticing hmm, that those good. are like good spots. Just to watch for, they tend to bring like that a, push. Yep, here we go. See if we can get that fill. We really want to see that push up towards 50 here to, to fill that FVG. Yeah, I got a um, I got a 25k account, but what I was saying was a uh, like a daily grinder put that video out, um, or linked that video. I didn't realize like if you really think about it, the rules are so much more in favor, you know, for the higher accounts for the for Apex. Um, the 25k account makes the most sense. I mean, you can pass it, and depending on what you're like averaging a day, if you're averaging even 400 a day, you know, you could pass that thing in four or five days. Um, on the on the low end, and then the drawdown. It's a beefy candle right here. See, my issue has been the drawdown on the lower accounts. Like I've had so much easier time passing my one hundred fifty k's over my fifty twenty five k's. Yeah, I do like I like having more drawdown. I guess the thing that sucks is like specifically for apex is that trailing i don't know what it's what it is exactly but that trailing drawdown that always gets you like if you're up four or five grand on a on a 100k account and then you lose like 2,000 2,500 you it blows the account even though you're positive on the account yeah it's, it's so like it's so annoying um yeah i, I just don't I understand like, the rule it's something i like top side i can literally just like let a trade run all day like 
if it goes back against me, it's not going to count into my drawdown. Like, even if I stop it at break even, like, it's not going to go into drawdown. Right, exactly. This is um, looking a little weak. Might get a push down to the lower wick on the left. If not down to this um, kind of range we have. Let me see. It's consolidation area right in here. I'm gonna log into my top step. Just see if I wanna if I wanna look into any. I had a pretty solid day with the um I had a fifty K account that I was giving a shot with the passes. Um that one just passed. Nice. The uh I have a twenty five K, I just need to do the fee. I just haven't done it yet. Um but I don't want to overtrade today because I've actually had like a pretty solid morning so far, especially on a day off. Like when you get your first day off in a couple of years, like I, I don't want to, I don't want to overtrade the day and then be miserable. That's how I am right now. I was like, shit, I literally just made like 3,500 in the first 12 minutes. So yep. I'm like, well, yeah, it's best to just like at that point, like switch over to like Weeble or I don't know, yeah. <laughs> just like do something else. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I opened up another 50k eval. I was like, if I want to trade, I'll, I'll use that for yeah. today. Uh, that's a nice bounce. Let's see if we can hold it. Buyers got to show some volume here. I'd like to see them buy this up and get back over the 20. Why is my top step not loading? Anyone else having issues with top step? Uh, not right now. Can't see my accounts. Huh, let me see. I'll give it a second. Sometimes you gotta re, re like refresh the the web browser because I, I I've noticed that a couple of times. I always gotta like even though I log in on my first attempt, I have to always like refresh it to see like my info. So this push down right now is um is definitely like not too healthy. I would say, I mean, it's healthy because of the move we just had, but in terms of continuation on the one minute, this is looking at, it's, it's looking pretty ugly. 50% yeah, pullback on the longer swing low, swing high overall. Sorry, I know I got a lot of lines here. I want to see the buyers just try and buy this up. You know, it's a nice push down, actually. I like the third, the 50, 50% to 61%. I think this is a good retracement zone. It's also lining up pretty nicely with that 200, but sellers are hopping in pretty heavy here. So yeah, I'm I think sure it's gonna carefully. be a, a pullback here. Yeah, that huge that volume's flying in there. Yeah, right here. This is not dead. looking good. The only way this can get reversed is if this next candle, if we break a low, we need to see some buyers really step in. Otherwise, Ooh, this is gonna get good. flushed. Yep, we're gonna get flushed here. This is my last sign. 72 is the last little defense we got right here. Put this right here. That's my what last EMA line. Is your What's that? What EMA is your purple line? 200. Okay. Yeah, 60 uh, is yellow, blue, and then uh, 200. I, I was using the VWAP. I just, I don't know. I, I felt like there was just too many damn lines on my screen, so... I was like, I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna works. keep it. You know, RSI is nice to have. We're getting pretty fucking low on the RSI. Anytime yeah, we straight approach five minutes, thirty, red. we've gotten a bounce. This is good volume right here. This is almost uh, pretty perfect to what we got there with the, the second candle being the, the, pull back up. Now I've seen it before where they'll pancake this candle too, almost. Where they do another red straight down, so you got to be careful on these. That was good volume, though. If this, uh, I'd really like to see in the next like literally two to three minutes, see us push back over the sixty and at least touch that twenty to show that bulls might be coming back and stepping back in control. The seven hundred dollar level is going to be a interesting one to hold let's put a, put a little line right there 700 
So we touched the 60. Now they could flush this the last 10 seconds. If they did, they'd invalidate this move. But buyers seem to be holding fairly well. Got to pull this liquidity. Let's get to the 20 in the next two minutes. Get rid of some of these lines over here for you guys. I'm going to keep this trend line here because I feel like if we do dip down, there's a good chance we can tap that one more time just because of how prevalent it was before. Let's take this 20, let's get back into this. See a potential, if, if the buyers can push this hard enough, there's a potential for a small little inverse head and shoulder there. I don't know, I don't know if the volume is there. Yeah, the volume's dying off bad. I'm gonna get another pull down, retest this wick. Yeah, buyers couldn't get it there. I do like um, Moyne's, his liquidity indicator too is actually really useful. You guys use that? Uh, yeah, I've used it. It's, it's good. It works. Yeah, I think it's it's nice to see like even, it's pretty good on the one minute to be honest. Um, you just got to be quick with it. Like... This would have been showing as we pushed up here, so it, it almost bounced perfectly, like right there. To reject, I mean, and then the push through it to the next liquidity spot. Held as support, couldn't go through it, flushed down through liquidity. Now it looks like if that trend was, if that trend's supposed to keep up, then we should be going down to test this liquidity zone in the 60s again. But the 200 EMA is kind of like stopping that from happening right now. Is his uh, liquidity um, tool, is that in the community indicators? Yeah, yeah, yep, that's in the um, the indicators section. I think it's it should be called liquidity zones. Liquidity and, zones. Yeah. yeah. All right, if we break this high, 05, if we break 06, get a push up to probably about 13, big spike. Push, push. Keep going. Let's go tap that 13 spot. I don't care if it taps the 13 spot and goes back down. It did what it was supposed to do at least. But I'd like to see a push. Push to that liquidity zone would be lovely. But There's a nice little pop there. Uh, now that we're starting to push over the, the 20 and the 60, you know, the, the biggest thing we want to see here is for the buyers to hold it at least over that. Close the candles. I'm um, not really worried about the wicks. I'm more so worried about the body. If you see that yeah, body, it's like Slowly increasing. It's a nice but ramp, yeah. Let's look, on, that channel. look on the five minute here and just see how the volume's looking. Good buy up. I like that wick. They closed that out. We're getting a little bit of an engulfer right now. This Actually, this five minute candle in the next three, we could see a big push um, to about 20s if they want it. Usually when you see this kind of a push up followed by a candle like this, the volume ain't there yet, but if, if this starts pushing up through, that volume will increase quickly. I think that, that 20 zone will probably get tapped here soon. Definitely feels like they're going to try and target that, um, that FVG above 35. Here we go. Let's get a push right here. Nice. Try logging back in. Still nothing. Yeah, I was gonna say my top top is is looking fine. Might just have to refresh. It's probably just me. Do you use Tradevate or Rhythmic? Tradevate. Yeah, I'm using Rhythmic. <laughs> nah. Rhythmic has never failed me, but they but every now and then they it'll just like glitch Rhythmic. like this. <laughs> like where nothing's showing. 
All right, we're testing that liquidity zone right there. I expect um, a slight retracement, if anything, to the lower teens. Yeah, I'm watching QQQ right now. We so far I can't break over that 428. The buyers. Area. If we look at the retracement, just from that that high to the low we just made, the buyers, uh, or sorry, sellers have, sorry, excuse me, the buyers have already invalidated the 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 bullish. Sorry, the bearish retracement. My God, I can't words this morning. Um, once we break over to that, especially this push, like no, virtually no red candles here. Get that push right through that gold zone, the 50 to 60, which is what the bears would have wanted to target. Now, there has been times I've seen it where the 72 to 78 percent can also offer a rejection, but with this kind of price action, with the volume supporting it, I, I just unless something sh catastrophic happens here, we get a big candle like or a big uh, volume spike like this. I just think that the the buyers have this one so far. But I would like to see a little pullback down here. 60 down to the lower sevens would actually be kind of healthy here. Bull said, hold my beer. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. Anyone play Vera? Did not. No. Whew, dude, that thing was... That was nasty. It's still got room, too. I mean, it's pushing up on, um, like, 24 right now. I mean, you get that, that 24. I think a 25 was, like, the top on there that I saw before we got, like, blue skies ahead. And that was a recent, I wouldn't say a recent IPO, but back in 21, I think it was, or 22. Highs in the 30s. I think it ripped. <clears throat> Be careful on this push. If we get the push towards the 35, um, there's a good chance the sellers are going to hop in heavy right there. If they don't hop in soon. Just because... I've seen it time and time again where we, especially on dips like this, we pull down so hard and then we push back up so hard. You almost always get that inverse head and shoulder pattern to, to occur. It doesn't always play out, but it almost always shows up. So pullbacks. It would be nice if we get the pullback here, though, to be honest. Selling pressure starting to accumulate. Right around the mid spot on the uh, RSI. Let me pull up my. I gotta pull my Weeble up real quick. You guys can't see my Weeble screen, can you? No. Man, I'm really watching. I'm actually. I'll tell you what. The one inverse head and shoulder pattern that I'm looking for is on Upstart. That thing on the daily time frame. It's like setting it up so perfectly right now. Just need that dip into the, the high 32s to finalize it. But that thing, if we go into 32s, I'll be loading the boat for 50s. Upstart, let's see. I just did a, I did a video on my channel, my YouTube channel for that one. I was like, this thing is, oh, it looks nice. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, James Livingston. I think it's a. Uh, if you look up James Livingston, it's it's James Livingston, and then I put a dash trader. So there's two of them. One of them is my personal channel. That posts like um, just some of my like vlogs and stuff, but then the other one's my trading channel. I don't really post it in our Discord just because I want everyone to. I want everyone to go to Alpha's channel because that's where all of our support stuff is. Um, but every now and then I've been kind of posting different different ideas. Oh, yeah, I'll check it out. Upstart, uh, I posted Upstart on, I think it was Sunday. Obviously, it, you know, no one could have got into it on Sunday, but then Monday it did a nice pop. 
essentially essentially what i was thinking and it's it's almost like if you watch the whole video it's pulling back to the t on what i was seeing let me i'm gonna pull it up here real quick we'll go back to nq in just a second uh let me turn off liquidities we don't need all that in our face let me go to the daily time frame here so it's not <clears throat> the most perfect um inverse head and shoulders by any means but you can see here we have the shoulders on the daily time frame got a shoulder right here got this head i think right now we're, we're forming this other shoulder right down to the 200 ema i think it's a it's a very low risk spot you know the, the gap that we set up there on monday would get filled um would allow for for people to get a good position to push up to fill this this meltdown just all this open liquidity we have up into the 40s you know once we break that 38 dollar level so i think upstart's a good one to watch i'm not no play in it yet i i thought about it this morning but i didn't like the the way that the reaction was so i'll let it dip a little bit more to that 200 and then i'll probably get some uh maybe some late february march contracts to hold i'm really eyeing that that 50 like up to that 50. check out nq again all right nq got that nice pullback to the 60. we need buyers to hop in right around this range just because we've got all this liquidity that we had before down in here. I want to see buyers really hop in here, create a new support, give a bounce. Otherwise, we'll be going right back down. And there she goes. <laughs> All right. Let's see if the uh, see if the sellers can reverse this, or if buyers still got some juice. Easy scalp right there. Boom. I just did that one. I was going to say that's a nice bear scalp. Down to the 200, most likely. Two and one. 87, probably the likely target here. Stop that right there. 110. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. And buyers hop back in there to end the tail end of that candle. Got 20 seconds left. Usually the last like 10 to 15 is where the true move comes in. So we'll see here. It's good volume if the buyers can hold it. I would rather not have any wick towards the out. There we go. Eat that liquidity. Nice equal volume. Sellers can still flush this. Like I said, have you seen this pancake happen before where you get a red, a green, and a solid red back down? But buyers are definitely giving it a good effort. Take that 20 again. I think we're in good shape to move back up. Man, I cannot get my, my top step to <laughs> fucking load. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. If we break out, if we break the 20 level again, I might go for a small scalp. If we go 20, break yeah, 20, I'd probably go up to the 30. I'd probably scalp the 20s there. <laughs> On the flip side, if we break down the... Uh, I'm looking for a breakdown right here. Say so if we break down under... Um, looks like 80... Out on one. I'm going to wait till 86, but if 86 breaks down, I'll probably try and scalp it down to the mid-70s. I'm going to do it right now. 
Up 200, yeah, 250. Take me short with you shit. real quick. 300, fuck. Nice, that's just a quick 60 on one con. I'm out. Yeah, out right there, 220. Really want to see. If we can break 86, we can get a nice push down, probably to that lower 70 range, to be honest. We're playing right on the view up right now. Is this where the view ops at? Yeah. Mm, interesting. All right, I'm going to hold off. All right, all right. 17, 694.50. Can somebody uh, do me a solid? Can they, sh can they uh, copy the link to this and send it in the main chat? Just in case people yeah. want to. I'm, I'm going to be live here for, I'll probably stay live for at least another half hour. Oh, can we get that breakdown? 200 EMA. Do we break the view up on yours? Oh, my bad. One sec. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try a short right here. Try and get down this liquidity. Just one short, one short. Got to stop at 95. Uh, one minute. We're still, we're still playing with it right now. We're right below, but... Try and get just a 16, quick wick down. 17, 694.50. View up. Got 95 stop loss, guys. Oh, stopped out. Ah, we try. <clears throat> I'll wait to see some major I, levels. I want to see. I really want to see that 13, 7, 13 at this point. If we could break that 713, I want to see push. That'll probably give us the push to the 30s. Otherwise, downside. Obviously, the low wick here. Going to give us a flush. Buyer stepping back up. Can we reclaim our EMAs? We're probably trending under the view up, I would imagine, at this point. Or slightly. Oh. Nice push. We get a flush to the 70s. Just for a quick grab, liquidity grab. All right, link posted. Nice push. Keep pushing down just a little bit more. No, 200 gonna protect us. Oh, buyer stepping in. Yeah, buyer's not trying to lose this. Probably even take a quick scalp if we break 700 up to the 710s. Interesting if we can form a double bottom here. Uh, if we're looking at this from a retracement standpoint, we are right in that golden zone for the bulls. So just be careful with the short side. If we do break this lower wick, though, there's, there's a good chance they'll just keep pushing it down. Yeah, the three minute. I like the three minute chart right here. Definitely holding the VWAP. Yeah, holding that 60 pretty good too. <clears throat> like that candle wick right on the VWAP. It's hilarious. Let's see if we can push the sevens. I might go long. Gotta break that. I wanna see the 702 specifically get pushed pretty hard here. Testing, testing. Let me give it a second. Let me go long. Just for a quick scout. Bulls show up, or are we going to get rejected here? I 
Just want to see those uh, those mid sevens to the seven ten spot. Keep pushing, push a little bit. We got volume to support. Ready? Let's go. Push, push, push. No, nope. oh. Holding right there. A little more push. Right, nice. I'm gonna take that right there. Nice, I'm Solid. out. That was a nice uh, like 200 there for two cons. Let's see if we can continue. Again, if we, I think at this point, I'm going to be waiting for this this green line I got right here, so about 15. Arguably, just to be safe, I would say we need to see 16.5 get ticked over. We can get a push into the 20s. This is a nice um, setup right now for a possible pennant to break out, so... Definitely watching this more so long right now. 1650 is my break spot. Keep pushing. Good volume. I'd like to see a little bit more once we push this trend line. Maybe an uptick over top of these ones. Sorry if you guys can hear the vacuum. It's my maids. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> do you trade off your phone, Geo? Or do you trade straight from the chart? This morning I traded only from my phone. Nice. Yeah, I barely even turned on the computer. I like to use a computer to uh, just for charting, but I don't. I don't really place trades on the desktop. I just. I never really learned. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the more I trade on my phone, I feel like the more successful it's been. Like yeah. having my levels just mapped out on the computer and then trade off the phone. I want to see a hold here by the buyers on this spot right here Let's see if we can get that little small tiny inverse on the one minute need buyers to step in heavy here volume increasing downside though mm -hmm. let's see what the uh, we got 25 seconds left on this candle the last 10 to 15 will be telling pushing down if we break this wick here go down to the 200 I still like this, uh, no position, but I still like this kind of setup for the bulls. I just don't like this rejection right now. This is ugly. The volume yeah, I wanted for the bulls is not there. <laughs> oh, getting a flush. No. Let's see if we get a low, followed by a rejection. The bulls can step in here, close this one kind of like they've been doing with these candles. We'll see some possible continuation up <laughs> stepping in they said fuck that you need a vacuum to pick up all the money <laughs> oh yeah bears are looking strong here let's switch to the short side i'm not short anything yet just watching want to see Let's lose this 84, 83, 84 range first. If we lose that, it's almost a surefire. We're going down to the mid 70s at least. Oh, nope, not enough of a push up there. It was a good try. It was a valiant effort. It was a valiant effort. All right, watching short here. Not short yet. It's a nice, nice bounce and a little liquidity here. Buyers can take over the last candle's high. That'd be interesting. Get her back over like 95, 96. Oh, 
Oh, it's a good effort. Let's see these last 10 seconds. Can they push it? Nice. Let's turn this green. Ah, yikes. Nope. I don't like it. Going short, small. Ah, those mm, I got a limit at 94, 75, but still yeah. waiting. They're trying. What's that three minute look like? I'm gonna have my stop right here at 95 again. Oh, and we out. I literally just, that's where I got in a short. <laughs> <laughs> you got in a short at my stop. You, you, you bought or you sold mine. I'm still in. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go short at the actual breakdown spot here. 84.5. Seller's definitely like in control Boom. here. They're just wicking it. The whole net. Mm -hmm. I think uh, sellers are they're trying to get that like just a touch into the seventies. It seems like. Not bad. Out for another one ten. <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's all I've been doing. Quick like hundred dollar scalps. Yeah, Shit adds up. This is the way to do it, man. Spires building a support. That's a uh, three touches on the two hundred EMA on the one minute. Yeah. Very interesting. Hey, can I ask you guys something? Yeah, what's up? How many times a day can you do that? If you're just looking for that small of a gain. Because if I'm only looking to make three to five hundred dollars a day, like how many days can you? How many times a day can you do that? You're saying you're just going in for the hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean, you I can mean, literally, like, you can yeah. do it. Yeah, go ahead, Gio. I was just gonna say, yeah, the fact that I'm off all day is like, yeah, I could, I could sit here and take that setup hundred times all day if it happens. So you just put your order in. If it hits it, you're in. Then immediately you put your order back in to make the hundred bucks. You're out, and you just keep rinse, repeat, rinse. You just keep doing it. Are so you I have off bracket today? orders. Set. You what? Yeah, I have bracket orders set, so I basically have my stop and take profit in place, and then I'll basically just move my take profit, keep moving that down, for up, up essentially. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, you like on futures, you can generally trade like. I mean, honestly, as many times as you want, as long as you have the money. But the, what? like, in terms of, like, getting those scalps and stuff, like, we're, I don't know what, what Gio's doing, but I'm doing, like, one to two contracts per, and you get a four to five point yeah. move out of that, and that's usually, what, like, a hundred bucks, at least. That's exactly what I'm doing, yep. So, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, you could do uh, this. Oh, you, like, right now, yeah, i just been going in one contract at first, and then if I need two i'll use one for an average down looking for momentum here take us over uh 700 getting a good push up against the 20 we need to see some continuation here which platform is this uh this is trading view that i'm viewing it on oh okay i'm sorry i saw that as soon as i asked okay hey, hey alpha i know you're in here um I took a 22.5 call on that Vera, just got filled. <laughs> I didn't even, I played a couple of shares, but I played I play one options, a 22.5 call. And I think I just, I think I just closed it at 150%, 200%. Jeez. Yeah, I didn't recommend it, it was super risky, but. <laughs> good play, like good play. Buyers stepping in here, see if we can get that push through the 710s. But yeah, no, uh, Heather, the, as far as futures, um, you can use, we use like funded programs. Um, that's why when, when you were messaging me, I was say there's a better way. We use funded programs where you get like, um, access to the capital for cheaper and it's not really risking as much of your capital up front, which is nice. Um, okay. so that's, that's how we trade futures here, but I'll show you that in a little bit if you want. 
getting some okay. good volume here. We might go for a breakout. Let's see if we can get that push. Again, 7, uh, 16, 7, 16, 25, that green level I've got right here is really the spot you want to see break. Uh, we so, get Sam, man, what you're saying that you got a call, man. I was like, what are you at, 200%? Pieces, man. <laughs> I bought it yesterday because I was like, well, I was like, you know, Alpha is pretty confident in this, and I see the DD, the float's small. I was like, I, I could see this getting that move. Um, so I played a 22.5 call. And... Yeah, I was looking. There was I mean, if you bought like calls from the 16, mm -hmm. it went to like eight, like they were eight, like 800 percent. It was crazy, man. I mean, yeah. It was just it was ridiculous, man. I, I I've been I was listening to the conference and like literally they were keep saying. The drug is the, our only thing that we have, the best one, the main one, the successful. So, you know, these keywords, it was, it was like, people are listening to this, right? Oh, yeah. People are listening to this. They were smacking the tape yesterday. I told you, like, I saw that tape. That was ridiculous, man. Those zips, they were smacking 30,000 shares, 20,000 shares, 10,000 shares. I was like, that's ridiculous. People are just, they, I mean, of course, nobody knows. But the fact that, you know, they knew that the data was going to come, come good, right? Because right. I'm telling you, it was not fans that they were going to make an in-person you know, a conference and tell people that they were all, yeah, we had like bad data, right? It was absolutely nuts. Oh, yeah. Especially and, when you have like actually people going up there, you know, going up to the podium and, and talking. Right. It's like you're not going to present yeah. shit data in that scenario. <laughs> right. And then, you know, then the PR came, like at what, 825? I've seen Weebly came out and that's when the spy came 25. But now the thing is, this is why I, I got a starter because the data is great. I was just reading right now. It's absolutely killer. And then you look at the chart. The growth on this can be crazy. You know, we already got Bob. You know, we have this continuation, which is expected to be. So now what we're expecting to see is the growth. Yeah. Right. So I can easily see this, man. Like easily see this to thirty dollars. Not this week because you know we're almost done, but possibly next week. You know, like previous high to thirty sevens. Of course, it's gonna take some time, but I think that it's a very achievable target. You know, considering long the momentum is features. So. I'm definitely looking to this because, you know, it's just a very, 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 very big opportunity. Oh yeah, for sure, man. No, that was a that was a huge play. I, I looked at it. Uh, I was on my way to get coffee this morning, and I was like, "God damn, twenty four percent!" and and then went up to like thirty three percent, and I don't even know where it ended up. Probably, probably closer to what thirty forty yeah, total. Crazy, it was a nice move. Getting a rejection from this trend line here. Got one touch, false breakout here, two touch, three touch, four touch, five touch, six touch. Let's see if they can hold the structure that they've got. I'm going to make this one blue just so you can see the kind of pattern we're looking at here. Get rid of this guy. We're still within this. Be interesting to see if it holds. We're holding the zone okay, getting some selling pressure coming in. Need a big pop here. Buyer's got to regain the strength of this is going down, down. Good consolidation, though, I will say. <clears throat> 35 break can be pretty, uh, pretty massive if we do get the upside move. If keyword five minute, we get that 35 break up there. The the upper end of this looking like a push up to the 50s for NQ. First resistance to break, got to break to 16, get 16 to go 20s, and then we'll likely get at least a push to the high there. Um, we'll see about the uh, we'll see about the 50s, but. Good recovery. Let's hold 700. Oh, you're playing with that 17700 level. Mm -hmm. It's a super key level. Yeah. Let's break the trend line with force. Push, push. Nice. Let's keep moving. Keep pushing. I want to get a nice big push. I'd like to see it get up here into the teens for this push. Let's get a push up to that 16. would be lovely. Let's 
Could probably take a long if we break here. Oh, there it is. All right, now we're really looking for that. Uh, looking for these twenties to break, speci specifically twenty four. It looks like just about twenty three five, twenty four. If we could push that with some volume, we're getting a lot of volume here. Really starting to ramp. We're not in overbought territory just yet. All right, I'd say like right in this range. If you're in longs, might not be a bad idea to take off. It's a nice push. So now, typically, what happens here? Um, if we get this break and we get a rejection in this range. We will, <clears throat> depending on volume, if volume continues to ramp, we could see continuation uh, just straight to the 30s. Or we get the push up here, they give a fake out pull back to the trend line before continuation, which should line up with that 20 EMA and the 60. So if we do pull back, I still think it's fairly healthy. But definitely want to, I'm going to move this thing up here now. So this is that general liquidity spot that we're looking to test here real quick before we possibly could see a rejection back down. consolidation here 15 minute just kind of zooming out looking at all time frames here guys you can see you know that 20 EMA on the 15 has been respected uh, multiple times the trend is definitely up for the moment I don't think that there's um, really unless we get some heavy volume I don't think there's a chance we go back to the downside for now We'd have to see like some some pretty thick volume. I think 700 break of that 700 would be about where I would say we should start looking short. But otherwise, this is just up. There we go. Let's push up into this range here. Let's get the 25 touch maybe. Right up to that 25, 25 maybe a hair over that, and then rejection would be super healthy for me. Not bad, not quite 25. We are on the one minute though, we'll give her a little breathing. I'm gonna step away for a moment guys, gotta use the restroom, hang tight. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna get out of here before I make a stupid decision. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Good rejection candle. Probably uh, likely to see a small pullback here. Good volume with the shooter. Let's see if we get that pull back down to the lower tens or lower teens. Preferably would like that pull down to as far as, I mean, honestly, anywhere in that 700 to 705 level would be lovely.
Does anyone, uh, while we're in here, does anyone have any questions as far as, um, I guess, futures in general or just, you know, what I'm seeing, what I'm saying? I always forget that we have the. Uh, I was the uh, curious on where you're setting your, like, how do you know where to set your liquidity zones? Um, so the. Uh, how I usually do is I'm doing it manually, um, but essentially like these high wicks. So you saw when we were trending down like this, um, we have these wicks here where multiple wick points where there's just like this loose liquidity, you know, people were trying to grab it, it was getting rejected. Um, so those spots as we approach them again is where I look for the rejections um, or breakouts, depending on how many times we've touched it. So like, for instance, right now where we've touched it now twice, probably pull back come back up, touch it again, maybe pull back one more time, and on the fourth try, we'll get the breakout. It's typically how it goes. doesn't always happen that way. Um, but there is also an indicator that uh, MHM has made for us in the indicators tab. It's called liquidity zones. And you can see that this, like if I get rid of my box here, it lines up perfectly. You know, this is his liquidity zone right where that last spot was right there. It would have shown us exactly where we'd be looking at that touch. Just about every spot that I've been putting it at is are exactly correct. Like our next liquidity spot will be up in that lower 30s, the 30s to 35 right here. Um, but it's likely that first now that we've so it's just to give you guys an idea how this works. When it's yellow, it's acting as a resistance. When it is blue, it's acting as a support. So now that we pushed through this one that was previously yellow. It's now turning blue, so we look for a bounce in this region here. Um, you know, within a wick or so, it's not always 100% accurate, but these are generally how, for you guys that don't necessarily know how to mark out your liquidity spots, using this tool is super helpful, and it's free to all you guys. Um, so in our indicators tab under stocks foundations, you can click that. It'll take you to a trading view um, spot. These are all on trading view only but it'll take you to a trading view screen where you can add it to your favorites indicators. So make sure you're logged in on that screen so you can add it. And then on trading view where it says indicators here, you would click the arrow down and your favorite indicators would show there. So like we have a couple of them. We have SPY to ES conversion. Um, this one here, I can't 100% remember. I think it's it's like a, an EMA of some sort. I have it, but I don't use it too much, but it is useful. And then the liquidity zones as well. Like I said, I mean, you can see like to the to the spot, like it's they're pretty accurate. This is on the one minute, so if you're not used to scalping, um, which is kind of what we're doing here on the on the stream, but uh, scalping those one minute liquidity zones helps out. You can find like the larger ones on the fifteen minute where it'll pop up. So again, like the next spot we should be going towards is up in that high sevens. Um, now I have it marked down for a smaller gain. This is what I want. This is where we'll likely end up with due time. But yeah, that's that's how I uh, that's kind of how I mark out the liquidity zones. It's basically on the wicks essentially. I know that was like a lot I threw at you, but hey James, do you use the uh, buy sell button, the ask, and the bid buttons? I don't. I actually saw a message that. I don't know if it was you that put it in, but someone put one in. Yeah, man. Telling it, saying yeah, man. It. Uh, uh, Mohan went over it with me, and holy cow, the profitability went up. Now, it, it would help get me to the funded account pretty quick. Uh, night and day, man, because I pulled reports from before using and after. Those buttons are truly, truly profitable. Oh, yeah. I'll have to try it out. I, I just recently learned, out, uh, learned about the... Um, reverse position i didn't know anything about that um what oh, yeah yeah on on rhythmic you can like reverse so like if you get into something on accident you can reverse it now i've never used it yeah. so i don't know how like i'm assuming you would take a loss but <laughs> oh, yeah. no, i use it all the time <laughs> immediately switches your position that's insane yeah it just immediately switches you from if you're long it'll just immediately switch you short Every every time I switch it, it goes <laughs> it goes back. All right, so I'm yeah, I haven't used this. it that often. Use it more as like a fail safe. So we have a spot right yeah. here, guys. 
we got this tap here and now we just recently tapped again the next push of this trend line i'm looking for a breakout into those 30s um downside wise again nah, i don't like that spot i don't really want to use this because it's not really there i think we're going to get the push here in just a few moments <laughs> Again, I'm just aiming for the low 30s to mid 30s here. If we get the push. Specifically, level wise, I want to see that 26.5 break. Uh, Yogan, this is on the Rhythmic Trader Pro app that I'm referring to. So if you use, uh, depending on which platform you use, um, you might not actually have that button. Trade debate, I don't think has that option yeah they do it, oh, they it do. does yeah yeah you have to expand your screen though you have to show all buttons ah uh, all right second touch to this liquidity zone right here uh creating a support let's see if we can get the push i guess curling up now i want to see that 26 looks like yeah 26 is the break looking to scalp it up into the 30s I'm gonna remove my liquidity indicator just so it's not so clustered for you guys. <clears throat> that candle, the one minute candle, it's uh, starting to push a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's getting engulfing. I wanna see how these last 10 seconds finish. I'd like to finish over 20, that'd be nice. Yeah. Not bad. We, we might still push up a little bit. Uh -huh. But, or the 60 is the next target. We wait. <clears throat> I'll come back. Well, too soon, I guess. Just need the volume. There we go. There we go. Getting some nice volume ramping here. Keep an eye, bulls or bears. Bulls. Half and half. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like that uh the little indecision <laughs> candle. No, nah, they're gonna I think they're gonna try and push this liquidity here. Here for anybody watching, uh check PCSA. There's a possible reversal happening if it's given. Trying to watch that uh kind of possible B wop. If there is some follow up. It's PCSA. It's a, it's a penny stock. Now, basically, we're looking at that close of OBIVA, and of course, if it does break the 5.04, I'm going to put it in the chat too, but I'm just going to let you guys know. Which one? You said VPSA? No, no, it was P P C S A. 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 Processor. Nice. That actually does look. Yeah, I'm watching. You know, it's true. it was trying to reverse there, so I'm basically, you know, keeping an eye on it because if it actually gets to break that BWAP well and break that five dollars, then we can possibly see like a possible reversal there. Yeah. So, but of course, you know, it needs to hold because it's been holding to twenty. Maybe if it doesn't hold, then it's gonna flush down. But it's in a nice spot. That's what I'm like because it could literally break down trend right there, and you know, have a nice pop. It's good volume. I like the consolidation. The push over the 200 on the 15. Held it. Pushed up higher. Nice pullback. It's about, uh, was it 38% here? Let me see. 50. Pulled down to 50% retracement. Nice healthy retracement too. <laughs> I 
was that the third, fourth time in this liquidity zone for NQ, uh, where that where that was. See if they can get that the push here. Twenty six breakout. See it. Man, so many wicks to the upside here. The volume is just like kind of, kind of dead for the most part. Nothing substantial. I just saw your message, uh, Isam. Nice, nice scalp there. Two hundred dollars scalp. Put this green line right where we want to break out. So the 26 there. Let's see if we can get it. <clears throat> this is the uh, fourth test of this liquidity zone right here. One, two, three, four. Amen, Gio. Yeah. Chop, 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 chop. The volume is lackluster, but if we break the liquidity zone, we could see a nice little spike in volume. This 30 here, come on. Vol volume is ramping, this is looking good. Nice setup. Need buyers to follow through. See this volume, how it's kind of going over our, our last couple of ranges. I want to see. Um, I want to see this kind of close a little bit green. Would rather it not be a shooter. I got to stop here. I'm going to stop it right around 18.5. Not a great showing there by the buyers. We'll see if they can push this liquidity again. You know, sellers are going to try everything here, especially with that FVG above. Oh, so close to the stop right there. And can the buyers do it? Uh, so close. Ah, oh, stopped. All right, we'll wait for another try of it. <clears throat> I went in late, one contract there, just to see if we could get it. Negative. Let's get that. 26 is still my level. If we break it again, I'll be looking to clear up that liquidity and then some. By the sellers there. All right, to uh, 20 EMA on the uh, one minute here getting tested. Three minute, just to give you guys an idea of the overall trend right now. Still looking good, still trending up. Three minute, five minute, you know, all the way up to the 15 minute. Just chop city at the moment. Chop, 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 chop. All right, 26 is still the break. Trying small long again at that break.
Hey, good morning yeah. or good afternoon, whatever it is in your time zones. Good morning. Yep, I was watching. Okay. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Peter. Yeah. So, was just watching, was in like some work related stuff. Okay, so now I'm completely with you guys. Let's right. get rich. Long. Sorry, let me cut you off, Moin. Let's see the push. I'd uh, really like to see 35 get touched here, and then I'll probably call it, to be honest. Stop is going to be right at 18.50 again. And they got me. <laughs> Fucking bastards. <laughs> <laughs> that that 26 spot the, this this upper 20s seems to be pretty tough we'll see if we can push down to that liquidity zone for another pop or if the sellers are going to step in heavier here A good seller candle. The volume to support it too. Fight for that 20 EMA. Nice bounce off the 60. Let's see if we can fill this up. I'd like them to fill it back over the 20s. Got a little uh, megaphone pattern. Anyone? Broadening megaphone. Yeah, I might take a short at the top of the channel. Let's see. Up here. Yeah. Is that a, it's kind of doing that pancake thing I was talking about? Right there. there. Oh. In with the stop, the 7726. Seven, oh. 30 a better area, you like have a distance left somewhere around 30 ish. The upper weeks where the upper weeks typically ending. Where you up here? Like here, you mean? Gotta see buyers push this, uh, this candle up, otherwise, we get a little pancake action. Basically, like a, a red bar, green bar, red bar. I don't know why I called it a pancake. I just called it a pancake. Stopped out of that for 40. There's this. Let's see, you got another limit placed at 17.72. That 15 breakdown could be uh, could be substantial. Ooh, you here at 17.72 looks good. Yeah. All right, I'm in there. It's interesting. Virtually no buying pressure, but they are buying the dips up. Seventeen, seven, easily. six, yeah. top two, and boom. Oh, see if we get that push. Get that push down. Fifteen, fifteen or lower. Perfect. Push and lower. Stop that there. Seventy-five. This is definition of chop city right here. Yeah, I mean it's just for like 15 minutes, but still, it's like this is so fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, literally, that's all you can do in this situation is just scalp a little that. Right? Be curious to see what happens there at that uh 2875 wick if they hit this upper trend and reject it or what. But I'm gonna try a long at 26 again. <laughs> All right, we're long. Nice. Let's see, let's get this, uh, get a 30 push. Can we break the 30s here momentarily? Come on, baby. Give her a push. Volume ramping. Let's go. We're not oversold or overbought. Let's push. Just a quick pop up there. That's all we want. We might be getting a new high over here soon. Oh yeah, this volume is starting to really crank up. 
Uh, hold it over 26 buyers. Looking good. Let's get a continuation here. Push. Have a new high and get more volume in. I'm going to try and get that. If I get that 30 pop, I'll be out. Looking to short exactly around there. I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk uh, down to about 22. 22. My stop on this one a little bit tighter, but it's like to the dot on that broadening. That's pretty crazy. 25 is looking to hold. I'm going to loosen my stop loss guys real quick. We're just loosening it under the 20. I like this trend so far. I don't want to don't want to be stopped out too tight. So basically that 18.5 seems to be that spot where they just keep getting me, but it's all good. It never hit the 20 from where I wanted to short it. Did you get that uh, that short at the top there? Nope, it never hit 30. Ah. Uh, for anyone that ever asks, what is chop? This is chop. <laughs> the constant up, down, up, down, up, down. I think I just got stopped. Yeah, I just got stopped. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Nothing crazy, thankfully, because it's just one contract at a time. But man, they are killing me with these. <laughs> 26 is still that spot, I'm telling you. That that level. Arguably 30, but. I'm just shocked that the, the sellers are able to keep this so stagnated so far. We're well, short again at 17 to 250. We're in. This is three minute looking like. And boom. Oh, nice Our push. Profit. Oh, Gio, you scalp like crazy, bro. Gio's got yeah. that scalp hand. Got that sniper moves. <laughs> that was a good short. Ooh, perfect. Good short. You, you started up, um, you got a short at the top of that broad yeah. yeah? Uh, yeah, I got it right at twenty-two fifty. Oh, on that short right there. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, it's not that there. Eighty-five. My bad. <clears throat> Seller's getting a little bit heavier here. It's interesting though, because the seller volume is like much greater than the buyers, but they are just the buyers are continuing to hold this steady. Makes you wonder if there's going to be a, a pretty big burst in volume here soon. I go for it again, 172275. Nice. Nice short. Quick one. There. I wonder, uh, does DreamView offer a second? It does. Almost uh, kind of a good bit of distribution up in here. I wonder if they're going to try and flush it to 200. You look at pull up your spy chart. I think it's going to go all the way to spy view up. Uh, spy. What's that? Oh, is that push? There you go. Went down to view. What's the NQ looking like here? Touch of the touch of the lower. Let's see if they push it through. They got good volume to the downside. There's that here's that volume we were looking for. We're starting to get some. Just a matter of do we continue down or get the dip bought?
in these volume moments, this is where I look for either continuation. Yep, there's the continuation. I do hunt. It's a nice push down. <laughs> oh, man, I wasn't even looking. I missed my short. Oh, that's right. You hopped in like right at that 20 break. I just grabbed that scalp down. That was nice. Nice job, guys. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> Price action shows buyers pulling it up. Volume doesn't support it just yet. Finish my coffee. No anymore. I haven't yet had breakfast yet. Oh shit, that's right. I got a I got a breakfast from there. I didn't even eat it. Came right up here and just started charting. Continuation. Continuation to seven hundred? No. They're not gonna give seven hundred a test. To push up one more time, I'm gonna take a short. <clears throat> How's the stock market doing? Well, I mean, this is a stock market, but ooh, Vera, Alpha, you hear me, brother? Vera is looking gorgeous. Okay. Vera is about to break that twenty-five level. If we can get some push here. Inverse head and shoulders on ES. Yeah, I'm short from fifteen actually. You see ES real. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to it from sixteen twenty-five. Oh. He must be doing that because of Vera. Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? Alpha himself. That's that's alpha. <laughs> Vera is um literally at Bro. the very top right yeah. now. I'm taking out some at eleven. On at eleven. I got, yeah, I'm holding the other. What's up? I'm still trying to get it. Mm, PayPal, I'm glad I bought that dip yesterday. I'm just watching, man. I'm trying not to overtrade. I think we got a beautiful morning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just, just relaxing, you know, just right. seeing what's up. I Thank like the man. Vera is fucking ripping. Like, from from where it where it dipped down to, man, that thing is just steady buying. I mean, yeah, literally, I mean, it's going to be I pay the twenty one and it but, but you know it's gonna struggle on that on this twenty nine, twenty four, ninety, twenty five because that's uh, okay. that's every day and that's resistance. Oh NQ reversing. Good volume too, yeah. it's consistent. Oh, Dude, check out uh, our our BSN. It's going right now. And a twenty two fifty short. What did you say, uh, Alpha? What was it? Uh, RVSN. RVS. The rail bush. We traded this one yesterday, Ooh. and it's breaking out. Ooh, 924 Again. breakout. Give us 10. And look at that weekly chart. The demand remains at 12.16. We do break 9.24, and I think it's going to go heavy, man. And 16. It's only 1.10 million float. And look at the volume. It was 60% too right now, bro. We about to start doing some... Yeah. Some 120, 180s. Imagine. I mean, even. Hold on, let me slap. Oh, NQ. Yeah, NQ is getting that push. Come on, come on, man. at 2250. Get a good scalp down to the 20, probably. Yeah, I'm short 2250. Let's see if we can get a push down. 18. 18 would be a good scalp. Here we go. No, not yet. See if you can get it down to like right here in the 1850s. Oh, 
Buyers coming in heavy. There we here. go. Getting some volume increase. Bottom step in. Bro, tell me how my top step's doing the same thing. <laughs> I can't see any of my accounts. God damn it. <laughs> it's on the break, too. Your accounts, yes? Yeah, it's been glitching on me all morning. It's that break spot, guys, for long. Oh, here we go. We're getting that push that I wanted. God fuck. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. Not bad, man. God dang it. What? Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys got that. Fuck me. Yep. That's crazy. Uh, awesome. I thought I was trading on my 150k account, but I only traded my 50k combine where I lost two. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That's nice. Good volume there, guys. Um, larger time frames. 15 minute looks supportive of a push. I Once we get to the 40s, tread carefully, to be honest. Yeah. Just because of this pattern, we kind of got to get rid of some of these. We'll have like this rising. These can be hit or miss, you know, upside or downside, to be completely honest. The volume doesn't really support this move so far. We got a little divergence. Seven. Was it 38? What's that? What's our high right now? 1738, I think? Yeah, 385. 385, yeah. 35, I have to add to this one to get out. 385, maybe I push to 42. More volume. Look for a push to 42 before a small. The volume is definitely ramping up. Never mind. My bear thesis gone out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just name here. I'm short from 30. Let's see. Oh, you're short from 30. Mm -hmm. You big bear. A good one. Let's see if you can get that. Just that push down. Oh, 42 incoming. He's squeezing. Yeah. Be careful here. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of volume. We got we got room up to the fifties, fifty five. It's gonna keep pushing through here through these levels. Watch for fifty oh, for right um here. for the stop here. For a little rejection. Damn, that's a fucking great trade, guys. If anyone was in on futures Holy there. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I man. It it's all good. You'll get it back, brother. Let's see. Yeah, the big night that it does early in the morning, and it's going to happen. <laughs> see, 50. How's it react to 50? You're right. The 15 minute is just so nice. But the, I just don't like this volume right now. It's so lackluster. Yeah, I feel like a knife could happen like any moment. Yeah, like once you get that that fair volume, like into the mid fifties to high fifties, could yeah. could see that pull back. There's always that good chance though that they just push it to the high, right here. Yeah, usually you can sometimes run on this low volume. Well, yeah, and the way that this is like the, the, to the, the, view, the worst, you really don't like. The U pattern here we got going on. Maybe I push up here with a little handle. Speculation. All right, we're getting to the mid fifties here. Oh, I'm so sad, man. <laughs> Gosh <laughs> damn. It. It's okay. You missed some. Thankfully, with futures, we get these kinds of moves like just about every day. Every twenty minutes. I was gonna say, yeah, actually, every every like you know, at least like four times a day. It feels like. 
that's why futures, man, if you guys aren't in futures or, or don't, you know, know much about it, definitely, you know, ask away, ask questions in the futures room, reach out to any of us. This is, um, is super lucrative once you can get it going. See if they can, uh, this is a good, good volume rejection right there. Nothing crazy volume wise, so the bulls can definitely keep eating that liquidity up. But there is potential from from this spot right here. If we keep pushing, I'm gonna put it up towards the middle of the 50s. I feel like that's where we're gonna actually top. Pull back down into the 30s would be likely last resistance. Chart increasing reply to alpha trader chart increasing chart increase color RV <laughs> chart increasing chart increasing uh, that's me is that I'm you? muted <laughs> yeah that's me my I discord keeps me I thought it was daily grinder <laughs> I was like have any one of those <laughs> for real that's the one thing that like sucks about rhythmic is like you don't get that auto field. <laughs> Auto filled. <laughs> right, here's that push down. Let's see if uh, I'd like a melt back down to the mid 30s here. A nice 38% retrace would be nice after this move. Could take a small. If you're doing, if you have MNQ on your platform, you could do a small three MNQ on 35. Very low risk, use your 20 EMA as your stop. Oh, I gotta pee again. All right, I'll be right back. All right, let's see. You got a short order going at 17736. Stop at 1774. Sorry, 1746, my bad. Beautiful push down. That was nice. I covered my shorts, but I took the short way too early. Yeah, uh, let's see, I'm still in. Oh, damn. Look at that pull down. With yeah, that volume, was perfect. too. That was almost what we were anticipating, to be honest. With that, uh, that 15 minute, the way it was just kind of. Alright, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably end this stream here just because I got to go pick my kiddo up. Um,. But thanks for joining. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. And obviously we're going to try and keep doing these a little more often. We'll get some night streams going uh, as well. And just uh, contribute where I can here on Thursdays. So. Um, I so check your DM real quick. Yep. Thank you. Uh, did you also inform me about like, I got you. some night live sessions? Nice. What was that, Moin? Uh, did you tell and everyone that we're also planning to hold some night live sessions that during the night yeah yeah so we're gonna we're working on scheduling out night sessions um for futures right. um probably they'll be later so they'll be more probably like mm, i'd probably say nine i don't know what you guys think I like 9 p.m what's that yeah. nine would be perfect yeah because 8 p.m the volume just starts to pick up but it's not anything crazy even nine is arguably but it'd be a good start at nine and then maybe go until like you know 10 10 30 11 depending on our schedules um but uh yeah we'll, we'll definitely get some nice sessions going for futures and the same thing with forex i'm gonna get that rolling i'm still working on my eval we're about halfway through it um it just moves it's a much it. slower progress 
Um, but Which it, one are you using for that? Surge Trader? Or? No, so I was using Surge Trader, but they're just they're going a different route than I like right now. They're going more virtual fund instead of um, like true funding. So I'm mm. using uh, right now. I'm doing the funded trader, um, which is oh. pretty popular. They're kind of like on par with FTMO. Yeah. Um, is that the one that does options also? Uh, I don't think so. They, unless I'm mistaken, but the funded trader is primarily, from what I see, just uh, foreign exchange um, and like you know NAS 100 US 30. Oh, you okay. Want. So you can kind of like do similar to futures with the forex um, evals, but yeah they're just they just move much much slower <laughs> i mean you can sure. scalp them and and get pretty good gains but yeah it's just it's not as enjoyable it's it's a good yeah. stepping stone into futures trading in my opinion mm -hmm. um but yeah guys so thanks for uh joining this here um you know we got some nice moves thanks, out man. of that and we'll keep this going then all right see you guys have a good day see you guys